right, so my friends, welcome to New Bruce. That's right, Brew number five of ten coming at you. Harlov Manor, get ready to rock and roll. New standard, I'm excited, you should be too. Did the whole set review. We got Bronze and Mythic starting tomorrow, but right now we're playing ten new decks, and our fifth deck is a Merfolk deck. That is an infinite combo deck. Tappy, untappy. We got Deeper Pilgrimage here, of course, is an enchantment from Ixalan. So, man, enchantment, ever one or more non token Merfolk become tapped, make a Merfolk token, right? So, cool. So, uh, obviously, kind of cute with Convoke, where you Convoke counts each one up as an individual tap. But the real thing here is Forensic Research of a new card. It's a 1 3 for 3 Merfolk Detective. And, uh,. It's a mermaid! A mermaid? Untap another target permanent you control. So normally I'd be like, alright, whatever, so I untap my land or whatever, I'll top blocker. Well, if you got two of these, or you have, more importantly, a soul cauldron exiling it and then two creatures of counters on it, they can indefinitely untap each other. Now normally that would be a waste of time, right? You know, just watch whatever. Out, watch out. Not if you have a deep root pilgrimage in play, because now you're looking at infinite merfolk tokens. That's right. Tap, 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 infinite tokens, and good to go. And kind of have like the hybrid combo deck here. We have like an okay beatdown draw. You know, we've got Hexcatcher and Subterranean Schooner. The Conductor here is pretty sweet as a card that can, uh, you know, get your Explorers going. The Explorers are awesome too because the Explorers add counters to creatures, which allows you to use your Soul Cauldron more aggressively, which is kind of nice. Also, Deep Fathom Echo can copy the Researcher. So you have two of them. You can do the whole copy thing, which is great too. Uh, so yeah, pretty awesome. So want to get the researcher in the graveyard and cauldron it, or to have two of them in play, which is both reasonable. And we got uh, Maze to do that, Cavern of Souls to get the idea. Cyrus had a bunch of Merfolk in it. Uh, Tide Binder is obviously a sweet card. Mind Singer can be good against creature decks to steal things. The fourth has catcher for domain decks. Kite Sail Lars has been a really, really good card against the creature decks. So like you just board in these and board out, like the Fading Hopes and stuff, or the Hex Hatches or whatever. And uh, that's the deck. So Merfolk combo. Let's see how it goes. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, rock and roll. And on the play, chat, coming out with me. YouTube folks, take a second. Like the video. If you enjoyed the content, you like 10 new brews, like what I'm doing here, like seeing infinite merfolk, hit the damn like button. If you don't hit the like button, all right? Mulligan, don't like this hand. Into a pretty good hand. This is fine. Keep this. Ship a Hexcatcher, I think. And uh, lands are awkward, but hopefully the scout will find us a land, so. Scout me. Can explore. Ship it? Oh, the scout. Uh, it's going to bin it. Want to draw an untapped land. Even just like land pilgrimage attack is pretty good. We didn't draw an untapped land, unfortunately. So, kind of a killer, but is what it is. Uh, let's play our scout. Ooh, cauldron's pretty important. We need lands, though, honestly. I mean, Schooner can explore in two turns. I think we just dump it. We have a pretty good aggro draw here, honestly. We just like keep pushing the, uh, the issue. Also, but of course, the schooner can tap each merfolk individually as well for pilgrimage too, which is kind of nice. So, it's important to know that if you attack if you attack with five merfolk, pilgrimage will only trigger once because they're all being tapped at the same time. So, draw a land, and they have mana up, which is awkward. Um, I don't want to get this countered. That's tough. All right, so we're just gonna go attack, play schooner. I think. Yeah. No more lies. Make the spear or something. Get some sharks on there. All right, sure. Kind of sucks, but I think it's kind of necessary to cast a spell there, so... Could have maybe end Seth Hexcatcher, but... They have their own schooner. We draw land. We drew a land. All right, sick. So now we go... I guess that was our tap out, which kind of sucks, but... Play Pilgrimage. Attack. Get a thing. Play Hexcatcher. So... This is our plan B, right? This is just the beatdown draw, but it is working, so... Two combo cards gone. I don't really have a board here, so... Ooh, that's a card. Uh... Yeah, sure. Cast Soul Cauldron. This adds a counter at minimum. Do 
We lead back the Hexcatcher, maybe? This is lethal by itself. Yeah, I don't like... They get, something's happening here, obviously. Are they, are they, I guess Anchorage can block. So, yeah, let's do this. Make a token. Wandering Anchorage gets countered, so, like... They have Urtai? Okay, sure. They want to kill Hexcatcher, I guess? That's fine. I think we let, let this die. Obviously, she can't stop it. So, let this die. We draw a card. We draw a Researcher. It's pretty cool. And then we'll just put the counter on the Merfolk. Oh, I can crew a block. That's bad. Okay, sure. So, that was pretty bad for us. Not like the end of the world, honestly. And now we have Cauldron plus Researcher, too. So, um... It's funny. We'd, we'd rather this be in our bin than in the, uh... In our hand, but... We can sacrifice to the uh, Hexcatcher ability, though, so... Let's Soul Cauldron onto this, uh... Onto this token. Get it for four. And say go. Do you want to play, like, a... You know, give me, like, a Thought Seed or something like that, put this card in the bin for us? That'd be pretty sweet. All of our... Our countered cards can sack to Force Spike, or I guess negate, negate Force Spike. Graphene. Sorry. So now we can see like we're, we're getting outclassed because we're not really a great beatdown deck. This is definitely the plan B. Uh, an explorer. There's a Gix. Okay. Uh, islands. So we really want this thing just to die. <laughs> like, um, okay. <clears throat> if they ever cast a, uh, so they ever cast a non-creature card, we could just sacrifice it, I guess. Which is kind of cool, but. Yeah, so right now, if they were to cast a non-creature spell, we would combo. Because we would... Put a counter on this, then sacrifice it. Or no, no, it doesn't work. Because I have to exile this also. I combo on, on the next turn. Preacher, sure. Yeah, we gotta put a counter on it, then sack it, and then we can untap it, exile this, and then combo. So, uh, all right. So, yeah. So, put a counter here. I mean, that's gas, honestly. So we just play. All right, sure, sure. There you go. We do have the Gix ability. So now we just say go. And if they kill it, if they don't kill it, we combo. And if they do kill it, we combo. So awesome. If they kill it, we combo immediately, so they're going to go for the throat. Awesome. So, we... Uh... I think I want to Soul Cauldron a counter onto this thing, then untap it. So I have three things that combo. Um... So let's go Cauldron. Let's make sure. Yeah, this untap on the permanent control. Yeah, so it's Exile Scout. Counter on the Merfolk. I should probably go fast, actually, because we, we're going to have to like click through a combo. Untap this. Um, 
let it die. And that should probably do it. I'll just do a response so they can't you know, so exile researcher. Targeting Don't tie binder me, that'd suck. No! Odawara! We hate Odawara forever. Alright, so that sucks. That's actually fine. Now I just block though, it's fine. So put a counter here. And now I just block with the researcher. Yeah, I think we're fine here. So now, yeah, they have no cards in hand. Yeah, we're good. We got infinite tokens, folks. They did the first game. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Oh, all right, God. so Esper Legends. Um, we're gonna want all four Larcenists, I think, and a mine and the Mind Singers. Cut the Hex Catchers. Safety being like, uh, I think they fading up pretty bad actually against them. Honestly, all their cards are just like really, really good stuff. Yeah. Um. Tidebinder, Hexcatcher, both bad. Safekeeping's like, I don't know. I think baiting up just sucks. This thing's card just like pretty bad. Um, maybe two safekeeping and we'll cut like an echo, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of clunky. Bad against Odawara. Sure, let's do this. Combo! How many tokens of tree food being made? It's very important to say a number. For those who don't know, in magic, you can't say infinite. You gotta choose a number. So if I, if I if I have an infinite loop and I say I gain infinite life, judge walks over and says, Nope, pick a number. I don't care what it is, it be 47 Googleplex, whatever. But you gotta pick a number. So how many tokens do we make that game? 69,420? Not bad. Googleplex, billion. One time at a PTQ, uh, back and extended 100,000 years ago, I was playing Goblins. My opponent was playing the infinite life combo, and they said 1 million. And I was like, I think I could do that. Like, you know, like, I think a million damage, if, like, you're, if, you're a point, if you just let a Goblins player go unimpeded with, you know, four pile drivers or whatever, attacking every turn, I think a million's, like, doable. So, all right. And is not great, but we're going to keep. Double Scry land. What's up, Zan? Soul Cauldron? Uh, we'll keep that. Did I do it? I did not. No, I, I was not, not successful, but... A million's like... That's the biggest number you can think of, is a million? Like, can't do a little better than that? Alright, so... I obviously don't like the idea of getting counterspelled here. Uh, should play land. Worst case would be a flash threat. That would be the literal worst, but... Sure. Oh, Rafine draws on the play are still really good. News at 11. Jeskai, Merfolk, Warlord's Call. Why would you want the Warlord's Call? Alright, we're dead here, obviously. Uh, here's a Researcher. But... Yeah, we're super dead. Um, don't think there's any few ways about it here. Well, Larson is the... Uh, I, I guess the 3-3? Three, three? Sure. Zan says, bought through his bundle with draft tokens and you're nervous. Haven't drafted in a while. I have done zero drafts. That starts tomorrow. Any tips? Have fun. Your goal of your draft should be to be better at magic when you finish the draft than you were when you started it. You know, learn, take notes, try and get better. Twenty five thousand damage a turn? I mean and yeah, maybe. They've cut down, boo. Alright. Uh sure. And some doo doo here for sure. Another maze. Uh... 
I mean, just larcenist and land. How, like, how are we going to, like, put this together? They just have three flyers. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is pretty, pretty, one, two, one, two, one, two, Rafine is, like, pretty busted still. All right, eat this, play a maze. Ship a land, so you go. We can, like, bin, bin a researcher and, like, soul, I don't even know, honestly, like, what, what needs to happen here? All right, so they attack. Counter up on Mastermind. Nope, on Rafine. Two Path of Peril, wow. Tomorrow is 11 o'clock. Schedule's on Twitter, schedule's on my Discord. It's on, it's on Twitch. Schedule's everywhere. They discard Takanuma Caves, all right. Spyglass Siren. Maybe there's a chance? Post combat Gix? Okay. Um, I mean, Researcher Pilgrimage? Oh no, Researcher Cauldron. Block Researcher Cauldron onto the Larcenist. That's still not good enough. Yeah, I don't think we really have any outs here. Uh... Say go. Pretty sure we're dead. Joseph was just a regular merfolk in his school. Is it the school of fish. You, you get it? School, school. Anyway, and Joseph decided that he really liked CSI. He just thought that murder was neat and dead bodies were neat. So he uh, decided he wanted to go to school and be a forensic researcher. And uh, he did. Did a good job. Got his degree. And uh, now he's a forensic researcher on Ravnica. It's just, that's, that's the whole story. It's really not much more to it. He just has a job. He's just the guy with the job. You know? That's it. Origin story. Gotta land. I mean, we have a creature in the bins. We have a 4 5 blocker. A forensic reef searcher. Alright, here comes the anchorage. Sure. It's not ideal. Uh, if we draw... Definitely struggling to see a way out here. Um... Discard some spells and then make disappear. So, I mean, I want to put a counter on this. Four, five, six, seven. That's seven exactly. Damn. Damn, that sucks. So this has to die. I don't think we have. We can't do it with, with, with we need to have two creatures in play. Uh, Yeah, we're dead. That's fine. All right. If I could have kept the large switch alive with a counter on it. Like, maybe for some way, but I don't think so, honestly. So, all right, game three, it's fine. That was a really good draw, obviously, good for them. Going to game three. It's funny, because forensic science has been proven to be basically be bullshit. Don't tell freaking Joseph that. All right, you went to school for that. You paid a lot of money. You guys are great. You don't want to hear that. You got a job. Alright, game three, we got this. Our draw was pretty bad that game, too. Our draw was bad on the draw, and they had the stones in the play, so... Ugh. Ugh, this hit's terrible. All three schooners and no creatures. Alright, Mulligan. His hands have not been good. Uh, Alright, 
this is not very good for us, but sure. I mean, I guess we can Cauldron and then Larsenist, but... They're standing up. Right. They have a one drop again? Come on. Current Conductor? That's cool. Uh, sure. Deep Cavern Bat. Ugh. That card's so good against this deck. We have no removal in our blue-green deck. And our one removal spell doesn't actually remove it. That's bad. That's not good. Alright. I mean... We could resolve Zephyr Singer next turn. It's a decent size block. If they ever fiend again, like, whatever. You know, like... Surveil Lands are very, very good. In decks that use the graveyard, Surveil Lands are busted. Uh, they're wild. Speak of a devil. Alright, so... Yeah, we're just going to play a Surveil Land. We're going to find a Odawara to the bin. And play a Cauldron. And I guess just attack for two and hope I never fiend again. No Rafine, please. Don't have the, like, the stones, like the perfect, you know, fast land draw. One, two, three, Rafine. Alright, thank God. I'll go explore. <laughs> Come on! Oh my god. Alright. Well, I mean, when your opponent draws like this, I guess you're just gonna lose. Whatever. It is what it is. Holy moly. How about them deep cavern bats, huh? Alright, untap. Draw pilgrimage. Yeah. Alright, say go. Now they're gonna Rafine us. I mean, Rafine is kind of good because like, they'll put the Soul Cauldron food, I guess, but... So, I guess if we draw a Surveil Land and bin the, the, the Researcher, that could be a path. I saw that first game, you know? Alright, so... Counter. We're 10. Hedge Maze into... The Thing. Not quite. Alright, so now we're just dead, right? Yeah, we're 100% dead in the air. Alright, whatever. What are you gonna do? That was a really, really good draw, and our hands are pretty bad. Now, we, had, we, had, we crushed him in game one. Game one was awesome. Oh, wait, wrong button. Not bad. I'll play. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, Mulligans. All right, Mulligan. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Pause Mulligan also. We're on the play with a scout. All right, we have Researcher, Pilgrimage, and Echo. Sure, whatever. Fine. Fine. I don't like it though. 23 lands. And a bunch of explorer, obviously. So we spike a land here, we're 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 happy. Alright, that's the next best thing. Please find a land, please find a land, please find a land, please find a land. <laughs> Not the best possible land, but we'll take it. Schooner, sure. Soul Cauldron, okay. Um, I really want to draw land here. Fading openings of Schooner is pretty good too, so let's do that. Let's try to find a land. Land, 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 land. Nope. All right, time for one. So there you go. Hopefully they crew. We'll just fading up the Schooner. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Right, so, I almost think we bounce the Gix and not the Scooter. It's more expensive. It's more relevant. They don't get to explore. Yeah, man. It's Scry too, right? So, love it. Um, so, no blocks. Let's 
Some mana dork. I'm in. Research. Should play the Echo next turn, and then just like try and do it. Shielded. That's annoying. Sure. I mean, if I let it die and we draw a land, we just combo. So like, we should we should go pilgrimage, soul cauldron, add a counter, and then combo. If I don't draw a land, which we're only forty one percent to do, then I can't play the echo anymore. Things get pretty ugly. Dexter, so are we are we behind enough just to go for it? I never mind. I'm just gonna go for it. All right, let's go for it. Here we go, folks. 40% to win. Oh, it's Helix. Oh my God. We did it! Pilgrimage. Soul Cauldron. We got Soul. Goodbye, Researcher. Hello, Scout. And, uh... Untap other permanent you controls. Untap the Soul Cauldron. Make a Merfolk. And you untap you. And then you untap you. And then you. I'm going to clone college. Think they'll figure it out yet? After it was all over, he took us in the house of several Okay. All right. That was awesome. All right. So, blue black again. Um. I mean, Fading Hope was good there, but I think it's, like, not very good overall. So, those are gone. Uh, Love the Larcenists. Don't like Hexcatcher. Uh, Mindsinger. That's, like, not great, but it's, like, fine. Two Mindsingers. Kind of Echo, maybe. It's kind of, it's kind of vulnerable to removal spells, so. All right. Pretty cool. Remember, folks, have it that follow button, hit it. Have it the like button, pow! Bingo. Like the video, support the content. If there's a content creator that you like and you like what they're doing and you want them to succeed and do more of what they're doing, support them. Hit the like button, hit play, hit like. Everything you watch, all right? Everything. I'm out here doing infinite combos for you. Just you. Aww. Pun of mulligans. We're going to keep... That's good. All right, they got a one drop, they got a one drop. Duress. Swing and a miss. Nice mulligan to five, friend. Let's name Merfolk, please. It's a mermaid, a mermaid? Uh, I think we want in the bin, right? Like, it's just like where you want it for cauldron, so. Schooner, okay. Spelunker again. Might be a Spelunker X equals one, which kind of sucks, but uh, whatever. In the absence of no other plays, you know, just better than nothing, so. All right, Spelunker for one. Here's a Mind Singer. I'm just gonna ship that one too, I think. Die for two, sync up. Tidebinder crew, you got it. All right, so explore and explore. Take it. One's out. Draw land. So, I mean, researcher into deep fathom echo is pretty cool. You're up. Laying the beats. We can uh, collect evidence to also do something. What is this? Prophet's Eidetic Memory. Two mana for an enchantment. EDB draw a card. Then it adds counters to things for the cards you've drawn. Sure. Alright, no blocks. Uh, 
Um, I think we just like play Echo, play Singer, just make a bunch of flyers, right? Like, name Merfolk. It's a mermaid. A mermaid. Just like go all the way, right? Like. Yeah. All right. Sure. Flying counters everywhere. Top card is an echo. I don't want that. Just copy something. Sure. So now we just have five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have thirteen. Fit five, nine, ten. We have thirteen power in the air for lethal this turn. Awesome, Zan. I've heard that a few times. It's very, very kind. I have an immense amount of respect for the Goldfish crew. Immense. Seth's great. Krim's great. I think Brewer's Kitchen is probably the best magic content creator out there, honestly. Like, just unbelievably amazed by his stuff. I don't. I watch almost no magic content, and I will watch a Brewer's Kitchen video. Uh, just, you know, as someone who does magic full-time, I just don't watch a lot of magic content, obviously. But uh, he's incredible, so... I got to meet him in, uh, in uh, at PT Lord of the Rings. Super cool. So, all right, they're coming in. We're gonna go for the throat. Sure. No, yeah, yeah. Brewers Kitchen does one one video a month, and it, it it shows. Double go for the throat. There's a pilgrimage. Um, that's pretty good as far as blocks go, right? All right. So let's just uh, spelunker X equals two. Or three, because I can untap a thing too. Hold on. I'll play this first then. Let's play this first. Hold on. I can also just tap stuff with it. I don't yeah, actually I think that's even better. I should just do that. Let's go land. Splunkers two. Not good sequencing, but whatever. Um Explore land. Schooners like Good. It's just not. The, the, we're not in the stage of the game for a scooter like the pilgrimage. So, and then we're just gonna attack. And then make a token. I think it's half a thing. We got twenty pieces of evidence in the graveyard. So make another thing too. Obviously, tappers are really good against the uh, scooter too. So, it's a nice scrappy little game here. A little scrappy, crabby merfolk battle. on me. <laughs> yeah, block, sure. Okay, get excited, alright? I'm starting to have some fun here. Siren, sure. Make a map. Mapping, mapping, mapping. So we're going to collect evidence and just tap this. Uh, three. Make a token. Hide binder. I just saw that coming. That was so obvious. All right, sure. Uh, that was really bad. That's gonna cost us the whole game, I think, too. I'm mean, drawing to a soul cauldron to win, but there were eight. That was really bad. Yeah. Um. Schooner. Yeah, alright. I think a token. Say go. So we can draw. Um, we can't kill things. So, like, the tie binder is pretty good against us. Um, 
Now cards cut down. Soul Cauldron wins the game, obviously. Consider. Uh, okay. Deep Cavern Bat. Nothing here. Nothing doing. Trust Soul Cauldron win, yeah. That'll do it. We got one in there, you know. Or land. Or land. New card, Steam Core Scholar. 2-2 two -two flyer for 3, Vigilance, ETB, draw 2, discard 2, or an instant sorcery or creature of flying. Pretty good card. Add a counter to the bat. Yeah, the counter bat's so good. Um, pretty average trade, right? I've cut down their hand. I'm so freaking stupid. Did it, like, go away? It wasn't visible in their hand, right? But we knew, but we knew it from the thing. Yeah, all right, that's dumb. Somebody cue the music! I'm going to clone college. Alright, uh on tap soul cauldron. Untap this. So you have infinite infinite creatures. Um as long as they can't kill us. Yeah, I was so smart to clear the cut down from their hand. God, I'm smart. It, actually, it would have been better not to do that, because uh, I they both had counters on them, but... Alright. I mean... So I'm picking a number. How many merfolk should I make? If I tap the cauldron, I'll get priority less, right? I should tap the cauldron. Um, yeah. Put a counter here. Oh, so this was not summoning sick? Oh, uh, whatever. That's freaking matter. Blue white mentor in the main? I, I don't know, honestly. That deck seems cool, but. If I were to add a counter to the researcher, would it gain the abilities back? I'm curious. For science. I make it go twice as fast, so. Oh no, I misclicked! Oh fucking shit. God damn it. Oh, whatever. Just trying to go faster. So I'm only getting one token for each two taps, because there's a token, obviously. Anyone uh, know any good jokes?
What makes the sound? Oom um, oom. Um. Could have Gix's command, yeah. It is annoying that it ropes while I'm comboing, I agree. They have a lifelinker and stuff too, so... We have a tap too, don't forget, we can tap one of their creatures with this thing, so... Oh, let's do this, this is fun. Alright, so there you go. 25... So combat, collect evidence, we'll tap a lifelinker. Exiling a spelunker. Oops, I mean exiling a echo. Okay. Ooh, yeah. There we go, Merfolkians. On the play. Ugh. Dreadful hands. Alright, we're gonna mulligan. This hand's good. Keep this. Keep this and dump. I think the Hex Catcher, honestly. Just like not a breaking card in this deck. It's like okay, but. I mean, obviously, we're probably drawing a Gixxis Command or something like kind of super or something like that, so. Path of Peril or whatever, yeah. Alright, Soul Cauldron it is. We're playing Goblins next, so. Take it easy out there. Denic Pious Apprentice against my Soul Cauldron. And then I draw another Soul Cauldron. Get out of here. Alright, here's Sentinel. That's freaking stupid. Alright. Plan B, I guess. Oh, we're playing all 10 Bruce tonight. It's gonna be a long night. Ooh, wedding announcement. Alright. The main. The maze, the maze. Maps have legends, maps have keys. That sucks, by the way, they have Danic. We just like can't really remove it. <laughs> like, it's pretty annoying. Um uh, it works, I guess. It's fading hope. Are they about unbanning all the banned Santa cards the next seven months? Why the hell do you want to do that? <laughs> like. A researcher. Nerd! All right, they say go. We draw fading up. Sure. So. Cast Deep Fathom Echo. Let's see what happens. You know, counter my Deep Fathom Echo? Go nuts. Resolves. Alright. Let's go to combat. Explore. We are explorers. Pretty cool. Uh, no, no copies. Does the Sentinel of the Nameless City come in? Oh, I'd love to kill Danik, so yeah. Give it a try. Okay. So the problem here is that, like, we gotta use this Fading Hope to combo, I think. So, I guess, like, if I have two resources to play, I don't need to do that, but... Oh my god, okay, fine. It's not worth saving it. We gotta use Fading Hope on the Denic, so... Sucks, but is what it is. Play land, we'll explore onto this, they can't cut down it. I guess. Scout to the bin. Untap a land. 
explore here. Sure, that's actually really good. So now, now we're actually pretty well set up. We just find the the, the thingy, the fo the hope the hope combos. So, sure, it's fine. All right, we should find a uh, the enchantment. Nope. All right, I mean. Oh, I played the wrong way. I'm an idiot. Should have waited. Uh, all right, decline. That sucks. I mean, we're primed to combo. It just like, oh my god, we need to like, you know, find it. Obviously, uh, it's gonna be a lot of clicks, but. All right, so end turn. It's big. Uh, current conductor, okay. Uh, no. Put a land into play. I mean, he might just be dead. Um. Might like need to use fading up offensively. Jesus Christ. Is that an annoying game? A stupid Denic, like. So now so they're gonna connive on a Denic. Alright, so we already have a combo in play with these two. I'm just gonna bounce this. Whatever. Just like Stop the Rafine, trigger, stop the damage. Maybe they won't recast it. They probably will, but don't want Zephyr Singer. We should just draw the Merfolk enchantment, or we're dead. Fizzle that. Chump block this, take 18. Yeah, so if we, just, if we just draw the enchantment, we... I guess we, just, we, just, we don't win, though, because we, we make infinite tokens and just die anyway. Because they have two flyers. Yeah, I guess we're just dead. I should have actually, whatever. Right, we're dead. Yeah, that's that's fine. Denik is very annoying. We drew a thousand lands. Finding the enchantment's the hard part, honestly. Uh, all right, game two. Didn't eat two attackers because I wasn't paying attention. I just whatever. Uh, it was it was just binary. Either we draw or we don't. Even then, it doesn't matter. So, all right. So four larcenists, and. I guess Mind Singer again, taking out the Hex Catchers. The, I mean, Denik is like really, really bad for us. Um, but I don't think we like Fading Hope's just bad against them. Like, it's okay. It's got the Singers, and so even if we steal, I mean, we have, now we have we have Larsa to kill Denik now. So. Um, Community of Spirits literally only finds the enchantment, so like it, we, we, we thought about it, it wasn't good. Um, good safekeeping. Sure, let's try this. Try it again. Alright, on the play. Come on, man. He bowling into a lot with this deck. Like a lot. No, you can't keep the one land even with Scry Land. Oh. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Uh, Schooner's fine, sure. Try this. Not ideal, that's for sure. Name Merfolk, play Schooner, say go. We are explorers. Schooner buddies. All right. I've got a map. Can explore. All right. I mean, we have a spell or two. We 
Lord Skitter the Sewer King. That card is good against our Soul Cauldron plans for sure. Alright. Another schooner. We're gonna bin that. Attack for three. We untap attack, attack for a lot, so. Alright. Can we stop drawing lands? That'd be sweet. Here's Spelunker. Land. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, we could have drawn better with this deck, you know, for sure. I think overall. Um, <sighs> it's a nice little hit, but uh, yeah. There's a Masaju in there, so we do have a, a spell, I suppose, sort of. Anchorage, Fortress, Shores, Shores. Here's Rafine. So, like, I don't know what we're drawing to because we can't draw the one card a turn. You know, like, you can only draw one spell. So they jam. They Rafine onto the, the Lord Skitter, I guess. We block one of them. Now our swingbacks aren't as good. We do have these maps, I guess. How's it going, folks? You're sitting here. Welcome. My name is Jim. Pro Magic player, full-time guy integrator. Just trying to do a little merfolk combo here. Not completely cooperating, obviously, but we've comboed like three times already so far. Two or three times. It's our third match. Give me what I want. That's not what I want. Give me what I want. <sighs> All right. Uh, it's map. What's up, Lettuce? Researcher. Uh, so Lord Skitter would just exile this. Oh, we can't combo anyway. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. I mean, we literally have seven lands in our hand. Like, there's not much to really uh, say here. They crew this. I don't know how we ever win, but... Explore here. Uh, all right, I guess. Somebody's playing a prank on me. How is this possible? I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. One more. Give me another land. For, for, give me some complaint equity here. Oh, fading hope. That's not even close to good enough. All right. Uh, all right. End turn. We have Besage for Scooter, I suppose. We got that going for us. As if we hit, if we hit a spell for the on the schooner thing, they'd be at three, or a chump block the ravine, which are both pretty good outcomes, honestly. But uh, I 
mean, maybe they'll target this schooner. Probably not, but... Damn. Really? I guess I'll let them resolve these. Oh yeah, you're right. I punted. I I I binned the card off Sentinel the Sentinel thing. I could have kept it on top of the schooner. You're right. I screwed up. You don't have to bin the card for explore. I know that. I'm just I'm just yeah, right. Alright, so I mean six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still alive. I should block first. Okay. All right, down to five. I'm so glad they cast Deep Cavern Bat. I cannot tell you how glad I am they cast this card. You know, you, you, you just want your opponent to know what's happening to you. You're just like, I just want to show you my freaking hand. This is so annoying. And there you go. Now I saw it. Now they have Denik too. All right. Um, do we have outs? I get the Soul Cauldron after they play Denik. Awesome. They obviously don't I'm get rid of it anyway, so. Uh, nah, we're dead. Alright, we're gonna name. We're gonna name. Antelope, and then concede. Alright. I mean, kind of a frustrating set of games, honestly. But we did combo a number of times. The deck did seem pretty cool. Uh, so we got that going for us. All right, so you went one and two, but I mean, some of those games are pretty shitty <laughs> overall. And honestly, the combo's pretty sweet. I mean, Cauldron helps a lot. Um, I like this uh, Echo card. This card's pretty sweet also. Decent plan B. Wish there was another good like one mana Merfolk, honestly, but pretty cool deck. Pretty cool little brew, right? So um, that's this deck. Moving on to deck number six coming up. Goblins is next. You folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go.